Our team coverage continues with CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor. He joins us live at Broward Health North and Deerfield Beach as we learn more about the victims, a fire captain among the dead. Yvonne. Yes, Naja and Lauren. The two men who were in the building when the helicopter crashed, according to their loved ones, only a few feet from them were transported to this hospital. But like you guys said, we're going to start hearing from Captain Jackson on a video that he did himself three years ago. I am black history. In a Broward Sheriff's Office video from 2020, Captain Terrison Jackson shared on camera what his job meant for him. Growing up, I knew I always wanted to do something in the medical field. I just wasn't sure of what capacity. Our captain, our fallen captain, Terrison Jackson, 50 years of age, has been with the organization for 19 years. Oh my God. Yet the pilot and a firefighter paramedic Coming out alive after the roof of the apartment complex caught fire looked like a scene off of a movie. They were able to, you know, crawl themselves out to safety. Uh, they both are in the hospital right now. The members of our flight team um, consist of BSO firefighter para paramedic Michael Kaya Seda, 31 years old, been with the agency for five years now. The second uh, BSO fire rescue pilot. Darren Roche, 37 years of age. However, Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony confirmed there was another fatality. A, a lady in her home died in this injury, in this tragedy. Uh, the second of which is one of my firefighters. My brother Lorenzo tried to help one of the passengers get out. Kiana Carter says the passenger her brother tried to help was Captain Jackson. He said that the plane was like right there and the propeller was there and he just couldn't get to him. Her two brothers were at the apartment complex located at West Dixie Highway and Northeast 10th Street when the helicopter crashed at 8.45 a.m. They were waking up. One was uh, sleeping and one was getting ready for work and heard a commotion and started having, I'm sorry, things fell down on him. And that's when he tried to get to my other brother. They somehow made it out through a window and um, made it to the garbage vans on, across the, uh, on the other side of the parking lot. And that's when the plane exploded. And the Broward Sheriff's Office said today more than one time that they are hurting, but that they are also ready to answer the next emergency call, which is exactly what they did today before 9 a.m. Live in Pompano Beach, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.